Sid here. I'm here today to show you a little example of me deciding to tank with no help. Uh, a lot of people have said that my tanking is ridiculously worthless because I don't have this gear, because I don't have like refreshing on my gear or something like that, or I, I don't have uh, the best jewelry or the best uh, weapons yet. I just want you to see that you don't need these things in order to do content as a tank. This gear just makes things easier. It doesn't mean it makes them uh, locked behind it. You, you don't need it. So I want to show you a little bit of what I was doing by soloing the Kaminus Gate Lord. Check it out. And I'll add some commentary along with it. If you like what you see, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content of me tanking in New World. So what I wanted to show here was my gear, what I'm wearing, what it is, and I purposefully handicapped myself, and I wanted to throw in a little bit of a sneak peek. I don't know if this is a bug or anything like that, but you can check it out. I'm wearing Void Bent, Onyx Gems. I don't have the best jewelry, but it's not too bad. I'm using the 520 Festival Sword. Now, I'm losing some damage, but check out the 25 strength on the sword. It's a little interesting, isn't it? Now, of course, I'm not having to hold aggro against anything here, but this is just to show you that you don't need the best gear to get through content. Remember that. Now the first thing you may be noticing is how I'm spamming heavy attacks fairly often and how I dodged j that first attack near the beginning. Uh, when you see those really heavy attacks, sometimes you have to determine if you're going to take 50 stamina damage or if the, da if the dodge for 50 stamina is going to be better. I don't always know. Sometimes it just feels nice to add a little bit of fluid change to the game. Another thing is you'll notice sometimes you screw up. As a tank, you won't always get it right. You don't always know what's going to happen next. Is it going to be a one pattern attack or two? Sometimes you take a risk and you get got. That's going to happen a lot. And it happened to me here. It's going to happen a lot through this video. Prepare to see more of it. By now, you're probably noticing that this boss has a lot of fucking health. Yes, I just said that. So it's going to take a while to do things. You don't have the highest DPS, but that's not the issue. You still want to invest in strength and dexterity if you wanted to put it in, you wanted to put your points in there, but you need something. That doesn't mean you're going to be doing the most. There's a difference, and you need to remember that, especially if you're in all heavy armor. You're not getting the damage increase, so you naturally will have less damage than everyone else.
Here, I wanted to show how the hammer with the grit perk can do a lot of work when you're trying to do extra damage on a boss, even if the target is resistant to it. It also does great work against targets with stamina that you can break. So this is one of the reasons I like the hammer. If you could do a quick switch, or if you know you can take the hits with grit, it's a great thing to try out. A quick tip, sometimes it may be a better decision to hold your shield up a little longer after a boss attacks. Doing so, you never know if they're going to follow it up with a second attack. If you start charging a heavy and you get hit, there's nothing you can do. You're like deer standing, staring at headlights. If you haven't seen my tanking video already, you may be wondering why I'm spamming heavies after the end of every set of light attacks. Yeah, I could be spamming heavies to be breaking the boss, but if I'm blocking his attacks, that's just getting me a few extra um, attacks in every, I don't know, minute? So, you could be asking, why are you doing that? Why do you do a, a fast attack, fast attack, and then a fully charged heavy? Well, if you watch my tanking video, that will show you why I spam the heavy attack so much. And just to kind of do tell you quickly here, it's because I have the perk that when you use a heavy attack, you gain in power for 30%. So often I try to get every little bit a heavy attack out, fully charged or not, it doesn't have to be, so I can get that empowering. It's a great benefit for the light attacks that I'll be spamming when I'm not doing that. So, that's why.
You may have a mob enter the battle. Sometimes you're going to have to pick these mobs up too. This is a great reason why I use the hammer and also why I love the taunts like shield bash on defined stance on the sword and shield. So here, what I'm trying to do is whenever I'm trying to hit the boss, I swing in a way that may also hit the add. And if I can, if I know I can take a boss's hit or I can do some extra damage, I try to take the add out first. Why? Because the more things hitting my shield, the more stamina damage I'm taking. I can already manage the boss's damage, but if I keep adding adds, that just makes it harder and harder. Management is key. And here, getting the adds out of the way, especially if you, if you have DPS with you, it is the priority whenever you're doing this. Here, the battle gets really close. Why is that? It's because adds came in that were really, really strong. And I thought here that I was going to lose or probably just have thought this was a waste of time. But I also thought, huh, this is a great opportunity to show how you can recover from bad situations as a tank. Again, without having Biss gear. Just depending on how you play it, what you do, where you position, when you block, how you manage your stamina, and so forth. Check it out. You may think me using a potion here is me showing that I'm not good. This is the furthest from the case. Not always can your healer heal you. This is why having a stockpile of potions and rejuvenation potions, especially with your uh, infused healing potions, these are great to have. You're going to need them. This is what makes a tank a burden versus a benefit when you can take care of yourself. Yes, you don't always have Defiant Stance healing you and the damage reduction if you're not in this gear. However, if you have healing potions and things like that, you can still make it work. As you saw, I dropped to about 165 health and I still recovered. It can happen. Quick tip, if you're about to take a hit and you know that you can't block it, but you know you have the health to take it, you just don't want to take the stagger or the stun or anything like that. If it's not a hard stun, uh, which if you know the brutes, they're the ones that slam down really, really hard and then you get stunned. If it's not something like that, using defiant stance, gaining grit, or using shield bash, allows you to take the hit to the health without getting staggered it keeps you up it keeps you ready and in most cases it could even save you from a combo by allowing you to block the second attack
if you made it this far into the video, I just want to let you know that it's essentially the same thing. I don't know why you wasted your time this far, but I wanted to prove that you don't need this gear to tank. And I hope that through my mistakes, through this fight even, and through the things that I succeeded in getting the boss down, you may have learned something, or or maybe I could learn something from you in the comments. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, or dislike the video if you disliked it. Yeah, I can still see them, so I know if I'm doing the right thing or not. Thanks, everyone. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you have a great rest of your week. I have, hope you have great holidays. May the spark guide you. Goodbye.